hi loves welcome back to the channel today in today's tutorial you're going to be learning how to make an exaggerated sleeve just as the one you can see right here on the screen it's very simple and if this seems like what you're interested in please stay tuned until the end of this tutorial now these are the material you're going to be needing for this you're going to be needing a hard gum stay and then also a paper gum you are going to be needing a crino line, a tape, that is your paper tape, and then a lining, and your actual fabric. So I'm going to be using a contrasting color for this tutorial today so that you would be able to see clearly what I am doing. So this is the actual fabric and the length is, the width of the material is 18 inches. So basically we are using half yard of material okay not in length in width all right so for the length we are going to be making use of 13 inches that is um the elbow length okay so i made use of 12 inches you know that our elbow length is 13 or 14 inches so i made use of 12 inches because i don't want it to pass the elbow and I would advise that your sleeves should end at the elbow if you want it to become a very beautiful. Again, you are going to bring in your sleeve pattern. And before you place it, you are going to measure from the fold of the actual fabric 8 inches inwards. And then rule vertically downwards. And from there, you are going to place your sleeve block okay so from that point you are going to go on and measure down and rule down to the length of the sleeve okay so this sleeve is not really going to have a shape so what you are going to do is from the side of the pattern that is the sleeve pattern you are going to connect straight down to the length of the sleeve you are about to draft out so after you notch, you're going to bring in your sleeve pattern again and you trace out the armhole curve. So at this point, the scissors is not giving me what I want. I had to change it. So endeavor that you are using a sharp scissors for any of your cutting. And then we went ahead to trace out the armhole curve and cut out the side seam okay now you're going to do away with the sleeve block is no longer important now but before that you're going to input your hemming allowance so i'm making use of two inches for my hemming i have a reason for this because i'm turning this with a crinoline and crinoline can be very hard okay so i don't know if maybe after turning the crinoline, line the sleeve my short so i decided to add up two inches okay so this is um showing you what i'm going to be doing with this eight inches that i left i'm going to be plating it or um forming a gather effect right there so you are going to bring in your lining piece and everything that you did on the actual fabric you are going to repeat the same thing on top the lining piece okay and you go ahead and notch the eight inches mark so once you are done with this the next step you are going to take is to bring in your paper gum so i'm going to go ahead and fuse in the hard paper gum on the actual fabric and then the light one on the lining okay so my lining piece is the purple color and my actual fabric is the lemon green color if that makes sense if i'm correct with colors i don't know my colors guys so now you're going to come in you're going to bring in your crinoline and your tape so and go straight to your sewing machine now to fix um your crinoline to your fabric you are going to have to secure the edges because crinoline is kind of rough at the edge and you don't want it to be disturbing a client or 
whoever that have this sleeve that you're making so you're going to use a tape to secure the rough edges and that way it won't be poking the person so what you're going to do next is to place your fabric right side facing each other that is the actual fabric and the lining and then you're going to place the crinoline on top okay just as you can see right here and you're going to stitch this using half an inch and you guys while stitching your crinoline make sure that you're not stretching it already crinoline is very stretchy if you have come across it crinoline is very very stretchy so don't try stretching it because if you stretch it you are not going to get the effect that you want okay so just do this gradually and you will you would get to the finishing line so once um you are done with this and you are getting towards the end of the other parts you are going to go ahead and cut off the ss crino line and then you are going to also use your tape that is the paper tape and tape down the mouth of the other end okay so i'm trying to cut out the paper tape and i'm going to go ahead and seal the mouth just like i did for the other parts so once you are, you are done sealing the other end, you are going to continue your stitches, finish up your stitches and trim off any allowance that you have right there, okay? I'm not talking of the seam allowance, I'm talking of the tape, okay? Trim it off. Now, you guys, you can see that I'm using another contrasting color of thread. I just want you guys to see clearly what I am doing okay so once you are done with that the next step for you to take is to top stitch on the lining and the crino line so the crino line is going to go towards the lining and you top stitch okay and for my top stitching i'm going to be doing this at the right side not from the wrong side okay because you want to see clearly that your finishes are very neat okay so top stitch towards the right part of your fabric all right so as you can see i'm trying to top stitch. this can be very hard because crinoline is kind of very difficult to deal with okay it's kind of very difficult to work with i won't lie but if you get the technique you're going to find it very easy so you can see the one i'm shifting the lining and the crino line towards one side okay so that it won't affect my actual fabric it won't go and um, stitch on top of my actual fabric so now i am done the next thing you're going to do is to bring in your hemming gum okay this is the hemming gum and you are going to have to put it underneath the crino line and you go ahead and iron this down you guys i didn't say you should iron on top the crino line because crino line is very soft and the steam of the iron can melt it so iron with the lining on top and the next step you are going to take is to place um, the lining and the actual fabric each one of them i'm um, facing each other okay so the lining to the lining and the the actual fabric to the actual fabric and go on to your sewing machine and using the reporter of an inch join the same allowance okay just as you can see me doing right here and once you are done with that you are going to make a notch on the allowances and then you know i like to cut off my ss allowance so try and cut off your ss allowance so that once you turn this it's going to lay flat so at this point i'm going ahead to trim off the ss allowance 
and mind you i'm not going to be touching the crinoline part so i'm going to just notch and leave that just like that because crinoline can be very funny if you cut this off it might just loosen up okay and pull out of the seam allowance and you don't want to go through that stress okay so after you turn this to the right side you're going to have something like this and then go straight to your sewing machine and join that armhole area okay the lining and the actual fabric together once you're done with that you're going to go ahead and use a loose stitch to create like a gathered stitch or you pleat it right there and this is what the sleeve should look like so you guys if this video was helpful please um give it a thumbs up so that more people can get to see this video and subscribe if you haven't done yet i will see you in my next one bye